But why are these people fighting? Let me tell you, my brother, these people are not fighting that they are disagreeing on a policy. Have you had the disagreement in a policy whether people should have jobs or not? Have they disagreed on whether to build affordable housing or not? Have they disagreed on whether um, to be able to give free education or not? Or to be able to build morals? No. They have agreed on personal terms. And what are personal terms? When Gachagwa says he has been sidelined, what he means is that the deals Ruto is making, he's not gaining. Like he's not in a Dani deal. When Ruto is making billions of shillings, he has been sidelined. So that's what sidelining means. Uh, now, when it comes to the issue of a chief, Ruto is making a lot of money. He has been sidelined. All tenders in government, he has been sidelined. So when you hear him saying that uh, Mulima is in trouble, no. Iyo Mulima ni tumbo yake. Iyo tumbo ndiyo Mulima ambayo yiko kwa shida. Hakuna shida ngine. Even Mount Kenya people do not care whether Gachagwa is impeached or not. Yeah, so there is this very big debate in Kenya on whether the deputy president should be impeached or not, or whether they can afford to impeach him or not, whether they have what it takes to impeach them or not, or he has made a mistake. But let me make the following statement. That first of all, the cause of causes is William Ruto. If it's corruption, if it is bad government, governance, lack of accountability, everything starts and ends with William Ruto. So removing a Chagwa will not make any difference. A Dani deal will continue. Corruption will continue. Poor government services will continue. Empty promises and lies will continue. Launching projects that are never implemented will continue. Everything, as you see, will continue if Gachagwa leaves. So according to me, the discussion about whether Gachagwa should go or not, it is not our discussion. If Gachagwa goes, will you have bread on the table? Can you feed your family? Can you afford health care? Can you afford education? Can you have a comfortable life? Can you be assured of your living, of your comfort, and your future? Is your future secure? It does not make a difference. So for us Kenyans, let us not join it. So for me, I'm not joining it. Me, I'm standing with the people of Kenya. And I know whether Gachagwa stays in office or not, he has been there during Moi. Our sufferings were there. He was there during Kibaki. We still suffered. He was there during Uhuru. He was in Uhuru's PA. Our suffering was still there. Ruto was also with him. So all those people saying they want to impeach Gachagwa, they're also with, with, with Moi. They were with, uh, with, with Kibaki. They were with Uhuru. Now we're with, with, with Uhuru. Ruto. So it, it makes no difference. For me, there is no difference whatsoever. The sun will rise and the sun will set. Those who sleep hungry will sleep hungry. Those who have something in it will have something in it. The young people who have no jobs will have no job, whether Gachagua goes or not. So for me, that's a relevant discussion. But why are these people fighting? Let me tell you, my brother, these people are not fighting that they are disagreeing on a policy. Have you had the disagreement in a policy whether people should have jobs or not? Have they disagreed on whether to build affordable housing or not? Have they disagreed on whether um, to be able to give free education or not? Or to be able to build morals? No. They have agreed on personal terms. And what are personal terms? When Gachagwa says he has been sidelined, what he means is that the deals Ruto is making, he's not gaining. Like he's not in a Dani deal. When Ruto is making billions of shillings, he has been sidelined. So that's what sidelining means. Uh, now, when it comes to the issue of a chief, Ruto is making a lot of money. He has been sidelined. All tenders in government, he has been sidelined. So when you hear him saying that uh, Mulima is in trouble, no. Iyo Mulima ni tumbo yake. Iyo tumbo ndiyo Mulima ambayo yiko kwa shida. Hakuna shida ngine. Even Mount Kenya people do not care whether Gachagwa is impeached or not. Mount Kenya people just want to put bread on the table for their families. They want to create jobs for their young children. They want children to go to school. They want to afford health care. So they don't, they don't care. Don't be deceived. So according to me, that is a non-show, a non-starter, is a waste of time to discuss. People should discuss real issues. If, if William Ruto wants Gachagua to go, he should go first because he's the one who nominated Gachagua as his running mate. All other people told him that Gachagua was not right and he went for him. So now if Gachagua is bad, Gachagua is the egg. He's the chicken. 
let the chicken go plus the egg. And we don't want to waste our time here. William Ruto should also know the following, that as you are wasting time on impeaching a chagua, there are too many things on your table. University funding model is a problem. Chief is a problem. Adani is an issue. Economy is in trouble. Coastal living is a challenge. Unemployment is high. Corruption is high. Poverty levels are high. As a president, should your priority be fighting with the DPT? No. DPT, you can stay with the Gachagua and still do what Kenyans elected you to do. Why don't you focus on delivering to Kenyans instead of fighting with Gachagua? Fighting with Gachagua is not helpful to you, neither is it helpful to Kenyans. So it's a project which is useless. And do not bring for us projects to, 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 to shadow our eyes so that you are doing some things under the curtain. Let us bring back the same issues that took the Gen Z to the street. Let's discuss them. Abductions, murders, corruption, poor government services, lack of accountability, over-taxation, over-borrowing, over-spending, over-traveling. Let's discuss those issues. Those are the real issues. The rest is just but a joke. I, I, I don't think that there is a breakup in marriage between Gachago and Ruto. Uh, because what is happening is that Gachago was able to read the president's condolence message um, on behalf of the president in Nyeri yesterday. Remember, there was a time when William Ruto was fighting with Uhuru Kenyatta. There was a time even Raila read a condolence message on behalf of the president in the presence of William Ruto. So there's no breakages. You know, Gachagua and Ruto looks like a couple in a family, that someone wake up and says, me, I'm going, but they are not leaving. So they are not leaving. For us, let us not even waste time on that. Because if somebody is fed up, why are you waiting to be impeached? How many women have woken up and left their husbands because they discovered they are going nowhere? And how many men have left a marriage knowing they are going nowhere? But how can people come to the media fight and tomorrow somebody reading a letter on behalf of another person. For you, if your wife was to have a, an unreconcilable differences with you, will she read your condolence letter on your behalf? The president is giving a chagua security of 45 policemen yesterday in Nyeri with 30 vehicles. Which broken in a marriage? Ask the women who are broken with marriages whether they are being supported with their husbands. So this, there's no broken marriage here. These are just decoy to shift Kenyans attention from the main thing. And I've told you the main disagreement is personal. Ruto akitengeneza 4 billion, gachago ajapata. That is the problem. Kama ingekua gachago zai anapewa kama 1 billion, Ruto akitengeneza 4. Atu ingekua na shida. This is a personal issue which is being nationalized for no reason. This is not a national issue. There is no crisis. Because, you see, if there was a crisis that is stopping service delivery, for example, education sector cannot move because of Gachagua. Gachagua's disagreement in Ruto be bigger than COVID. When there was COVID, you see, the country was in, in trouble. When we had Gen Z demos, the country was in a crisis. This one, there is no crisis. This is self-created, self-inflicted. Wacha kiumane wanguke nayo. Thank you.